Choosing the Perfect Breast Size by Dr. Diane Gibby. As a female plastic surgeon, Dr. Diane Gibby, cosmetic surgeon and medical director of the Women's Center for Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery in Dallas, understands all too well how self-conscious and insecure women can be concerning their breasts. Because of this, it is imperative that a woman has a surgeon who really listens and understands their vision. This especially holds true concerning a woman's decision of what size implant to use. This is a very important and personal choice that should be considered carefully, as some women desire a very subtle look, while others want a more dramatic contour. The initial consultation with a plastic surgeon should provide a realistic perspective on what to expect from breast augmentation, and choosing the right implant size is a part of this process. Deciding on the right breast size is something that Dr. Gibby spends a lot of time discussing with her patients. The most crucial concept that women understand is that there really is no perfect breast size. Generally, there is a range that will look good for any given woman, and while cup size is something that needs to be discussed, it is really quite vague. Dr. Gibby understands that there are personal factors that need to be considered when choosing a breast implant size. Your lifestyle. If you are actively involved in sports, yoga, or other physical activities, the size and weight of larger implants may be a hindrance. Natural or not. A natural breast has a particular slope and proportion that fits your body. Many women prefer this natural look to make their implants less obvious. Other women want a more dramatic look. You can also find a middle ground between these two aesthetics. Risk of complications. The larger your implant size, the more vulnerable you will be to certain breast implant complications. After these lifestyle factors have been reflected upon, there are several methods that can help a woman determine which size implant is the best suited for her physically and emotionally. Individual anatomy must be the foundation for the implant choice. Body shape, weight, height, and size of breasts prior to augmentation, amount of excess skin and sagging, and the desired breast size should all be considered when deciding on implant size. It's what you start with, plus what you add, superimposed upon the shape of your own body that determines your final results. The same size implant on two women may look completely different. Dimensional planning. The measurements of the chest wall are taken as well as the breast dimensions including the height, width and current dimensions of each breast can be extremely useful when choosing an implant size. All these methods, combined with a surgeon who really listens and understands her patient's request, will assure a positive surgical outcome. For more information, call 972-566-6323 or go to drgibby.com.